Hello everyone, welcome back to another FSD beta video. We are today on 69.25.2 and just going to increase our autopilot speed here before we begin. Here we go. All right. So yeah, welcome back everybody. So yeah, first of all, first things first, I got 1,000 subscribers, so thank you everyone for this. And we're going to celebrate. Woo! Confetti! <laughs> Appreciate everybody who subscribed and watch my videos and comment and like my videos. It has been a freaking amazing journey. And I'm really, really enjoying it. And I uh, love every moment of it. And it's been really, really great and so much fun. And I'm gonna continue doing this. Uh, and yeah, FSD is ri driving right now. Um, and we're doing our internal route, route test, uh, residential road. And we are on 69.25.2. So yeah, uh, let's see how it does. I really enjoy driving in snow. So it's been snowing from yesterday at night and uh it's they, they called for like only five centimeters or six centimeters i think of snow so i'm surprised that we are getting way too much than the usual and here we go we've got some issues with fsd i'm gonna hit the defog button over here just to just to make things i'm just going to be concentrating a little bit here because there's a car on our left take this uh, left turn very nicely and a nice slowdown here we go I don't want it to commit after this SUV because there's another car coming up so it's waiting for them actually nice is it gonna wait for this car too no it's gonna go right ahead Ooh. yeah not that good and we're going too close to the corner over there Oh well, I thought it was going to do it very well, but I don't know, that was a weird commit. I think it's way too slow for it to, or it's sliding too much, uh, so it can't really make that turn very quick as it thinks it can. And here we have a yield. We don't really have a lot of cars. And does this turn nicely. Okay, very good. So I do notice with the... With the amount of snow that we're getting, the windshield wiper should... Oh, there we go. And as I'm saying it, it does it. Awesome. All right. This is this is a very good... This is a very good... Uh, uh, very good... Uh, what do you call it? Like an indication that we're going to... It's going to be a, a probably a very good drive. So here we go. But I'm not holding my breath because... As you can see, the situation is pretty, pretty, pretty hard for FSD especially with a lot of snowfall no lanes and the usual yeah so let's talk a little bit all right adjust itself gets a little bit too close to that parked car and always does that um, on this turn uh, so let's talk a little bit about uh, FSD 69.25.2 so yes I am late on getting this uh, uh, getting this video out uh, this is literally my first video of my impression about this FSD uh, FSD update I was really anticipating version 11.3 or 11.4 whatever it is that we're gonna get here we go oh, yoy, yoy, yoy. that's a very weird behavior and I've noticed that before on this on that turn so I, I honestly I'll speak honestly over here I don't see any difference between dot two and dot one I know a lot of folks were like, eh, dot two is uh, way more, uh, way more uh, stable and dot one was unpredictable and uh, stuff like that. So I honestly don't see a lot of difference. I've driven on dot one so much right now um, that it just feels like this is my FSD beta right now and this is, it's gonna be like this forever. But uh, here we go, we've got dot two. I've got a left turn coming up over here. Yeah, so, here we have the green light. Accelerate slowly. 
It does this very well if there's no cars, to be honest. A lot of slipping and sliding, and we've got that. Uh, interestingly enough, the red, the red steering wheel came on the left-hand side. Normally, it's on the right-hand side. Yeah. The visual is totally misrepresenting the reality. Here we go, now it's more accurate. So we gotta be very careful when it's snowing. Um, FSD Beta can do very uh, weird things and very sudden, very sudden things. And this is another thing that happens with snow conditions. It kinda creeps forward on this. I'm not too sure why. Here we go and this is the second time I kind of do that on this uh, intersection it has to do with a little bit of uh, visibility issue for sure and it's trying to creep again forward it doesn't have to creep forward if it's red We've got a red traffic light yeah and again it's creeping forward All right, we're gonna have to do this manually over here. And then we still have the same, the same issue of it getting too close to the curb. So we're gonna have to monitor that. Not much really improvements on FSD uh, with uh, with snow between point one and point two, because I've driven literally on point one with snow uh, just a few days ago, just before I got dot two. Yeah, maybe minor improvements with snow covered lanes. I know, like on this road, it tends to really get too close to the curb, but it can't really tell it's a hit or miss like if it's an improvement or not it's uh something i'll be able to it's something that i'll be able to uh pick up on the long run if i do this drive a few a few times all right yeah not good at all we, and it really, really accelerated there on that turn, which I'm not happy about at all. Let's see how it does on this turn. Does it slow down? Yes, we've got a nice slowdown here. Oh, and it's getting too, it's getting too far from the, from the turn. It should really creep into the filter of this turn. So yeah, vision is really degraded here. Got a stop sign, getting too close to the pavement here. I really don't like that it still does that. Oh, and it notices a car coming up. So it stops, very nice. We've got another one coming up from our left hand, left hand side. Actually two cars and it's still waiting. Awesome, very good, very good. Nice spotting. And we've got the creep forward as the, the last car passes by. And we've got a little bit of hesitancy as we get into the uh, as we get into the turn, just because of the snow conditions. All right, so far so good. Got another turn coming up over here. Widens up for it, and this is very typical behavior for this turn. All right, very good. So I'm gonna put it on our next destination. We'll circle around and we'll continue. Okay, so as you can see, there's a big bush on our left hand, or on our left side. And it's creeping forward nicely to make sure there's no cars coming in from that blind spot, which I really like. That's, that's what we really need to do.
nice uh, also slow down and spotting for cars wonder what's it gonna do with that car reversing over there I guess nothing so yeah the other the other thing that uh, some folks have been uh, reporting is that they've been noticing the car reverses a little bit and yeah like um, I honestly I don't think they're you know people are, are lying for for no reason or anything like that I don't think so so the, that might be possible but I also don't understand why okay, there's something there on the road so I'm going to avoid it didn't really get picked up by uh, FSD beta over here all right that's really struggling to adjust its uh, positioning for this left turn and here we go it's clear on the left and the right all right and we're gonna slide and we've got to take over immediately so interestingly enough the take over immediately sign is now on the left hand side of the screen before it used to be on the right hand side that's one thing I noticed all right so we should be really taking this right turn over here yeah it's not doing it it's struggling so I'm gonna help it out Whoa. Yeah, not a very good drive. Conditions are really bad. Uh, but you know me, if you followed me so far on my channel, uh, you know that I'd, I'd like to go for very difficult drives. Easy drives every now and then are nice too, to get that zero disengagement. Which I don't get much. <laughs> but, uh, Hard drives like these are interesting. I really like to see what the car or how the car behaves and how it handles inclement weather and different situations that get thrown at it. Very nice uh, sticking on the right lane over here. And it's gonna come to a complete stop. Very slow acceleration here with the green light. It is very slippery. I mean, I, I'm noticing the car next to me, the SUV next to me taking off. And it's also uh, spinning its wheels a little bit. So, so yeah. Alright, let's see how it handles this. Does it find its lane? Yes, it does. Awesome sees the red light and stops as well I'm gonna give it a quick wipe and we are coming up to a right turn over here Let's see how it does this. That drive, that stretch, those two uh, stretch of street was really good. Oh, come on. Ay, ay, ay. It doesn't take it. All right, it kind of goes through this yield a little too fast without checking. I was checking obviously for traffic so and it was clear but I can't really say if FSD was checking for traffic for sure Ugh, and we are on a turning lane over here so I'm not too happy about that yeah conditions are not that great Okay, let's see how it does this stop and this intersection is also a little bit difficult to be honest let's that car through and then we got the release of the brakes 
and it gets a little bit hesitant. I'm gonna give it a tap and it goes straight to the other side. So, and that's exactly what happened with uh, 32, oh, sorry, um, 69.25.1. We had the same issue uh, when I drove a couple of days ago with 69.25.1. So yeah, overall, uh, just to debrief here a little bit, uh, not much changed uh, in terms of uh, driving in snow. We'll have to wait for the, the streets to get cleared a little bit. Uh, I think we have two days or three days of this, uh, uh, of this uh, polar vortex that's happening right now. Just as a small weather update. All right, I'm gonna get a little bit further away from the other lane because it's kind of creeping into the incoming lane. So yeah, we've got a polar vortex happening. So we've got a few days of this uh, weather and then it should start warming up again and we should be getting our streets cleared. So, and then I can test 69.25.2 if there's any improvements on clear street uh, performance, let's say. Oh, nice, nicely done this turn over here. Very happy with that. All right, so everyone, thank you so much for tuning in for this thousand subscribers special video. And hope you folks have a nice day and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.